Hello everyone and welcome back. I look so oily and I'm pre-filming about two videos and that sucks, but okay. So I'm gonna, I have the update for finished, no, for the love of project panning, which is way overdue. Like I have not done an update for this, I think in a month. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's time to get it done. So I do have some items that I did finish off gladly and I have one item that I do not have with me. So let me get started with that one. The item that I don't have with me is my pocket box from pocket box? Yeah, pocket box from Bath and Body Works and it was in the crisp apple or harvest apple or something like that. I finished it off, but then it got um in my empties and it got thrown away. So, and by the way that video got deleted accidentally. So that's what happened with that one. So that's one off the list. And so I have seven more to go the other one i do have but i I'm, i was too lazy to go get it and it's my hanalei lip treatment and that's kind of like a bonus item that i have going on in this project and it's like a vaseline type of um, sweet tasting lip treatment and i really like it it you really need a tiny bit i have been making slow and steady progress on that one so, uh, yeah, I'm sorry I don't have that one with me right now to show you guys. Hopefully in the next update, I will have it with me. So, let me continue on with one that I'm very, very happy to have finished, which is the Dalton Lip Gloss. So, this one is all gone. As you can see, I used it all up, and I did have a little accident because... I put this, um, believe it or not, I put this on a lamp like that so with the heat all of the product could draw down so I could know how much I had left and I forgot about it and it melted. Yeah, don't try this at home. That's not very smart. But um, yeah, the point is this is all gone and I enjoyed this so much. I love these Dalton lipsticks. So um, that is another one done for this project. Now I have, let me move on to the number seven. A beautiful skin cream so this one right here is a night cream I use it as a night cream um I, I forgot that I had it and I started another night cream but there's very little left I actually I'm probably down to here and that is all I have left for this one so it shouldn't be too much longer I think it weighs the same from last time no last time I weighed 13 grams right now it weighs 8 grams so I did get a lot of use out of it I just have a little bit left and I'm going to try to get that um, used up by next update. See if I don't forget. Okay, um, now I have a complaint. Well, it's a complaint, yes or no. I have a product that I used up completely, and this is the Lemon Rinse. And let me see, from Beautiful Nutrition. And this is supposed to be, um, it's supposed to add shine, seal cuticle, maintain a healthy scalp, and it's like all natural, gentle, cl clarifying treatment. And I hated it. I hated it. First of all, do you know how many uses it took me to get through this? It took me one use. One and a half. Because in one use, I had to use all of this. And right now, I don't have a lot of hair on me. So for one use to finish all this up is just unbelievable. It just doesn't lather up very well. And it left my hair hella dry and crunchy feeling. And of course I used conditioner and that helped, but honestly I didn't like this. Plus it smelled like, I don't even remember. Yeah, it smells like pine salt and like country time lemonade, something like that. So I just didn't like it. I would not repurchase it, this and I don't think this is a product that I hate and that I would end up changing my mind on. So this one is gladly gone and yeah, I'll never repurchase it again. Mm -mm. Okay, on to the next. Uh, Aussie Hair Insurance. There is a product that I can gladly talk about. I love Aussie products. I love their smell and I love how they perform. So this one right here, I don't really use leave-in conditioners. I use, I use them occasionally, but this one I use more for my daughter's hair because she has a lot of hair and it gets tangly. So this is a really good... Uh, thing to put in her hair sometimes when she doesn't let me brush it out uh, after her shower I just put this in her hair and um, it'll help me in the morning it'll make things way easier and I also use it as a detangling spray on her so last time um, I was up here 
And this time I am down here. So let me give you the weights on this. This one was 144 grams last time and right now it's at 106. If you see me crooked on your screen, it's because I'm leaning over to the side. <laughs> I don't have my, okay there, I'll try to, <clears throat> I think I'm still crooked, I don't know. But yeah, this one's moving along. Um, I hope I can finish it soon, although I'm not in a rush to, but I do, I am glad that I do have this in a project can because otherwise it would just still be there. And I need to, I need to move stuff out. Like I have too much stuff just there collecting dust and that's not cool. So um, now I have this other product, which is, is it my last one? No, it's not my last one. But this is my NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. And this is just something that I do not use on its own. I mean, it's, it's a really nice product. If you are into liquid highlighters, this is supposedly a dupe for one of the benefit ones. I don't know if it's the high beam. But um, this one's been moving along. I mix it in with my foundation whenever I do my foundation. And that's how I've been getting the most use out of it. Because, like I said, I don't really use it on my own. So this one uh, used to weigh 21 grams. Right now it's at 18, about 18.5 grams. So I have used quite a bit of it. Um, and I squeezed it up and it shows that I'm right at this marking where I was last time. But I think that's a mistake. It, it's either I'm not measuring right, right now or I didn't measure right last time. But I've used it a lot and I doubt I'm still in the same place. That's just not the case. Plus I did use, what, 21 grams, 20, 20 what <laughs> three grams around there of product so i don't think it's going to be in the same place but um let's just see what happens with this one for next update and the last one that i have is this little um two-sided pencil from jaffra or jaffra and it is this right here i think this is the side that i've been trying to use up i have used the green one on occasions but um, I was focusing on my black tart liner and on my Urban Decay 24 hour liner as well. So I neglected this one kind of, but I have been working through it and it's not going to last me much longer because that's all I have left. And I didn't measure this one. Did I measure it? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I have my Apple notebook here. So this one, I cannot see the lines. Okay, here you are. Okay, so I was here in the intro and right now I'm just right there because like I said, I haven't used it too much. I've sharpened it like once or twice, but slow and steady wins the race and um, that's a really, really old eyeliner, you guys. You have no idea how old it is. It's been uncovered and it's still like perfectly, it performs perfectly well no problems no drying out nothing these are incredible jaffra products are incredible products like that's all i'm gonna say so let me see how many did i finish i finished one two three three products so far out of the eight that i have in this pro project so i'm hoping to get rid of more um by the time the project ends because of course that's the goal of every project pan and not to make this video much longer, um, I will leave you with that. And thank you guys so much for joining me today. And keep out, keep keep an eye out for my other project pan updates that are coming up. So thank you very much, and thank you. Um, okay, I got lost here. I was trying to see if I had. Okay, never mind. Thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.